Grenada is a popular destination among sailors, especially during hurricane season. It becomes a little haven for us all, a place we can work on our boats, meet with both new and old friends, and participate in all the island has to offer. I have been looking forward to arriving in Grenada for months, for all of these reasons, and I'm finally able to spend a few weeks on this beautiful island. Sunset is beautiful. The engine's on. I'm actually turning it off right now. Well, I guess I have to retalk. It's been cloudy the past two days, so the batteries are super low. And um, I was at like 15%. Um, so I just need it to get me through tonight. Oh, you came down. I've just been cleaning the inside, doing some bilge cleaning, putting the rooms back in project and laundry room rooms. And that's about it. I'm about to turn the engine off and go downstairs and finish a video. And tomorrow I'm moving over to Spice Island Marine and we're going to start on routine stuff. It is hot. It's about 12 and we're going to go move over to Spice Island Marine area. Um, so then I'm in the area and we'll really start on chores. Uh, start brainstorming the new dinghy dive and such but it's hot so i'm gonna get the engine on and start raising anchor now you stop you were just panting I have been a little absent the past 12 hours. Um, I'm in Prickly Bay. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me come sit outside. This anchorage is packed. And so I got here yesterday afternoon. I went to the gym and I am dead. I did arms yesterday. And I did legs today. I'm destroyed. And I um, decided to do some tap projects today. But I've been postponing for about two months. So my shower pumps aren't working. They're not getting voltage to the, the pumps. But the breaker switch has a pump. Um, is getting voltage, so I think there's a disconnect between the two somewhere. But one of them, when I turn it on, it, I can hear like a, I can hear the voltage on like the fans and everything. Um, like I can hear a sound difference in the boat. It's just kind of a comp. I have a feeling it's going to be a complicated project. And while I'm in the pump electric area, I'm going. I have two showers that the hoses came disconnected from the showers going into the pumps so obviously I need to fix the pumps before I can connect those hoses so right now my bilge is a wet bilge which isn't great but the bilge pump's been working beautifully and um, it's kind of a blessing in disguise that the shower hoses came disconnected and um, so the pump wire is first on the list. The second on the list is the freezer. The freezer fan has not been working on the next to the compressor and the compressor has literally not shut off by itself in two months. 
and it's running down the battery number one it's getting super hot I mentioned before that I'm putting little fans in it and so I really need to get that fixed um, I'm so happy there's some Sun batteries are super low still <sighs> about it all my GoPros are dead so one of the batteries should be charged by now but there hasn't been anything to see I've pulled everything out started cleaning that a little bit but I can't figure out this wire situation and it's driving me up a wall I know that's these um, and that's the negative but those all have power and I've gone to the actual pumps and those wires go into a tube that goes, I've just dug up everything and I can't figure it out. Um, but it's only one o'clock so I made it go into the freezer fan and get really annoyed with another project. GoPro turned off because it's too hot and honestly <laughs> I wish I could go turn off because it's too hot. I don't think I've ever sweat so much in one day. Um, so I need to take off four screws which I was about to film and then the GoPro turned off but I did it anyway. So there's four screws uh, around this vent. Um, so now the fan is loose I just have to cut the wire and then I'll slide, well this is the question, can I slide it out and in? Um, so that it's connected to wires that go to that fan right there. So there's also a fan on the floorboard, which is something that one of the previous owners did. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. afternoon um, I am back out on the bow I'm about to start waxing again <laughs> should have washed the boat today because it's been raining all day but not like a hard wash not a hard rain um, I'd say most of us in the marina are running our engines right now I don't think I've seen my batteries over 30% in days and they were at like 10 and 20 percent and it's 4 p.m. So I spent the whole morning digging into the shower pump situation. <sighs> I'm not even filming it because I'm just walking around like a crazy person looking at different wires. But I've made potentially progress. There's nothing significant. So I may have to wait for some friends to come help because I'm really at a loss. Um, that's about it. So I'm going to do some waxing. Miko, you going to help me? Maybe. Miko, come here.
Good morning, guys. Um, Mako and I did not sleep well again. The boat is rocking so freaking much. Um, batteries, there's wind today, so the batteries are slowly char charging. Um, I'm about, I'm not going to the gym today. It's been raining and all that, so Sunday. Um, so I'm gonna go up and do some stretching on the bow. But I wanted to hop on here. I think I'm gonna go to the university library here because I need to get work done and I need to charge my laptop. I still have not fixed the dang shower pump wire, but I'm gonna put the boat together, back together also. I've always promised to be real with you guys, so. I mean, it's not bad, it's just kind of annoying. Things could be way worse. Um, it's just first world problems on a boat is when you get swollen anchorage. I'm gonna go stretch and then I'm gonna leave that way. The inverter's not on, so I'm not using internet and hopefully the batteries can get above 30% today. in front of my face and I had to put the dinghy line down or my anchor line down thank god because um, I was like I didn't even know what direction I was looking um, gosh dang it but there is a phone repair place here um, actually like right next to the gym so I'm going to take my old phone there Tomorrow, it's Sunday. I wonder if it's too late to get Apple repair. Oh, this seal's coming undone. I wanna be on land. You guys know I can handle a lot. Um, I went up to stretch and as you can see from the GoPro footage, my phone literally launched into the water from my yoga mat. Um, I jumped in and it was um i have two flights on hold next week <laughs> um it's sunday but tomorrow i'm gonna go talk to the yard and i'm just guys i'm burnt out you already know that you've known that for the past few months i'm very burnt out and i've been wanting a break since the shaft seal ordeal and i'm I think this is my sign that I need to do the Caribbean next year. Take it slow when I come back and reset. So I'm gonna go to the library and do some work. Let my batteries charge and charge my laptop. Let my internal battery charge. Um, but I'm just tired. So, yeah, and the phone flying in the water, like yeah, it sucks. I just bought a new phone and I didn't have Apple Care. So yes, it sucks. Um, and yes, I just threw away that money pretty much, but I think it was just, it's just like, I'm done. Like that shouldn't bother me, but it's bothering me. Um, yeah, Mako, we're tired of the rocking, aren't we? Come here. We're just tired of it. We didn't sleep. We haven't slept in a while, have we? We're not happy. You're not happy. Yeah. Can you guys hear all this? No, it stops. Go figure. I just got back from the library. Um, the most productive thing I did was plan my haul out for this week. 
<laughs> and um, book my flight for Sunday. So I am flying back in one week and I am pretty much not doing any of my projects. So I think that the phone flying in the water was a blessing. It wasn't that the phone fell in the water. I really don't care at all about that. It just, I think it was like the sign, you're not doing the Pacific next year, you're gonna do the Caribbean and you're gonna go get the break you need right now because I'm so burnt out. And when you come back, you're gonna be rejuvenated, knock projects out and not worry about timing on anything. And I love it out here. Like when I got back on the boat, I don't love the rocking. Um, when I got back on the boat, Mako was outside because he can't stand being in here when we're rocking like this. And that's hard for me knowing he hates it. And I just went on the bow and laid down and he just laid on top of me and I'm going to miss it. I'm definitely going to, I give it one week of being gone and I'm going to miss this so much. But I am going to take all my stuff. I'm going to dive in Florida. I'm not going to have my boat there and I'm going to have time to dive and go to coffee shops and all of that and I'm so excited and that's how I know it's it's time I've been looking at flights every single day for the past three weeks and I was just told myself I'll keep pushing through I'll keep pushing through and sometimes you don't have to push through sometimes you can give in I'm just not good at that so um, I'm gonna get this boat out of project mode I'm giving up on the shower pump wire, and I'm literally while the boat's hauled out, there's nothing. I mean, like, the boat's in pretty good shape right now, but I'm going to clean her up and go through all my clothes, get ready to go to Florida. I'm excited, and thank you guys for supporting me. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to go home right now, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, there's the sounds. See if the candle, yeah, there we go. <laughs> if you're a sailor and you see that, you know it's not fun. So I'm gonna get everything going and get ready for a haul out in a few days. You're hiding, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you're hiding, I know. Oh my gosh, guys. It's bad, bub, I agree with you. trying to come down just going through stuff I cleaned all the bathrooms yesterday and did a little bit of laundry sun was out finally so the batteries were about 30% um, it looks like the sun may be out today too so um, I haul out tomorrow morning that's actually one thing I didn't film um, so I went to the office yesterday morning before the gym and I'm hauling out tomorrow at 10 unless something changes and after the gym, I went to go see if I can get my old phone fixed and it's gonna cost $500 just to replace the screen. Um, it'll be nice to have it when I land in Florida um, and all that. So they'll have the screen tomorrow night, so I'll go get that. I'm just trying to clean up the boat like perfectly once I'm leaving for a while. 
and two so I can come back to like a super clean boat when I start on projects. So no one wants to watch someone clean. So I'm not really filming. Mako. Bad. Get it. Get it. Get it. Mako, what's mama cooking you? As promised, I said I'd be spoiling Mako. He has been having fish almost every meal. Mako, what am I getting for you? <coughs> what is it? <coughs> yeah, I know. In case you're wondering, it's yellow eye. So. He's not just a little spoiled, he's very spoiled right now. Come here. Get it. Yeah, I know. You like it, bub. It's probably a little hot for him right now. It is my last shower off the back of the boat. And I literally mean off the back of the boat because I'm not getting in this water again. <laughs> this little one. How are you enjoying your day? <laughs> Mako, it's your last night on the boat. It's your last night on the boat. We have AC starting tomorrow. Yeah, it's pretty bittersweet. I'm ready for some AC. I'm gonna go into a lot of this um, in a few episodes, but it's been hot. Like I've just been going through clothes and packing and getting rid of stuff and reorganizing it all. And it like, I just sit on my bed and I'm sweating. So it's, I really don't wanna shower right now, but I do because I want to enjoy the sunset. I know that I'm gonna miss this so much. So. Boy, get it. Good boy. Come here. <laughs> Good here, Baba. Really?
what happens here. They go. It's gonna go over. Bob, you need like better balls. I need like heavy, like weighted balls that make crinkly sounds, if those exist. This ball has gone over at least five times today. Makeup, again. Thank you all for watching and supporting me through all the ups and downs. My first couple weeks in Grenada didn't go as planned, but I'm at peace with my decision. Next week, I haul out and start prepping the boat to leave her for a few months.